I'm Romo. On this episode of Romo's Recipes, we're making a pot roast. This is a very easy recipe. My mom always used to make pot roast and gravy and it always used to be one of our favorite meals. And it's simple, simple to make. All you need is some ingredients and a little bit of time in the oven and it's very simple and delicious. What we start with is about a three pound chuck roast, okay? I have eight medium sized potatoes, a medium to large onion, some celery and some mushrooms. Again. The onions and mushrooms are optional. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. Um, but potatoes, carrots are always in this pot roast oven dish. What we're gonna do now is chop up our vegetables and then when we get that done, we'll come back and show you our next step. Vegetables are all chopped up. So now our next step is to take our roast and put it in a roasting pan. If you have something with a lid, it's perfect. Uh, or if you have a square baking dish, you need to put foil over it. That's what you're going to want to do. Okay. Now I have made two cups of beef bouillon and uh, to make some beef broth. And we are going to put that over the roast and into our pan. This will create some moisture when our vegetables are cooking and our meat is cooking. Soften them up and make them absolutely perfect. Okay. Now we have to season it. You normally season with salt and pepper and maybe some garlic on uh, this pot roast and thank goodness to Cosmo for it all together in an SPG. So we'll sprinkle that on top of our roast and then add maybe just a touch of his Texas beef because it adds such a nice flavor to the beef. So we'll do that. So now we've got this seasoned. So a few onions, can put a couple of rings over the top of your meat if you want to just for garnish and it adds a little nice little flavor to what we're doing and put some onions in here and then come our vegetables folks this is that easy and use the vegetables that you like to use. You want potatoes and carrots and celery, onion, like I'm using, great. If you don't use what you want in here, or you don't have to put any vegetables in here at all, you just add what you want. Just make sure that you have a little bit of broth in the bottom of your pan so that your meat will moisten and have a little bit of moisture during the cook, okay? Preheat our oven to 325 degrees. And as you can see now, we've got a pot roast ready for the oven. So we cover it up and then put it in the oven at three and a quarter. Have it all covered now. Oven's preheated to 325. We're gonna put it in. Now, while our roast is cooking, we will take two cans of beef gravy or mushroom gravy, whatever you want to use. Even if you want to use gravy, you might not. Um, and just heat that up while your roast is cooking. And then we can serve that as a garnish over the top of our roast beef. Some people use ketchup on the side, whatever you want to use. But if you like what we're doing here on our channel, please hit the subscribe button. This is a quick and easy recipe. We have so many of these on what to do when you have to go to work and you need something instead of ordering fast food or pizza. The ingredients is right at the bottom in, in the description. You can go grab it at the store and then come home. You have a quick how-to video on how to make this stuff. So please hit our subscribe button, hit the bell. You'll get a notification anytime we post a new video. And it's something that's very, very simple and easy. We hope to provide you with several of those as we go on. Our roast has been in for about 
two hours, an hour and 50 minutes at 325. Now, we want this to be nice and soft. And as you can see, it still needs to cook a little bit more. So we're gonna cover it back up and let her cook a while longer. And then we'll check her again. Okay, we are now taking it out. It has been two and a half hours at 325. So watch it because there's usually some pretty heavy steam there. And this looks great. So now what we're going to do is cut it up and get it on a plate so you can see how soft this has turned out. This is just going to fall right apart for you and that's exactly what you were looking for. Just low temperature for a little while and man is it going to turn out wonderful. So what we're going to do now is put a piece on our plate. Add some vegetables, potatoes and carrots. This is the good stuff, folks. It's such a nice, simple recipe that works out great for Sunday dinner. When you're at home, it leaves a great aroma inside the house all day. And now we'll get a little bit of gravy. If you have time, the broth that was created and some of the juice from the meat will suffice as a nice gravy too. You can thicken it with a little bit of flour or cornstarch. But this is just beef gravy and look at that. That is just absolutely awesome. So now it's just going to cut nice and easy and fall apart. Real soft, real tender, very easy. Hope you'll like it. Try it out. Your family, it'll become one of your family's favorites. This is Romo saying so long, and we'll talk to you again real soon.